Okay, it's time for quest for semi-rando, a Legend Zelda link to the past randomizers tonight. Let's see what we can manage. We still gotta beat Buck 3749. Although that's uh that's kinda gonna be a tough order, I think. I think that's always kind of kinda rough for us, but you know we'll, we'll give it the good old college try, as we always do. Of course, I'm always aiming just for kind of a sub two, it'd be a real nice uh Real nice watermark to hit. Anything below that is pretty much just gold. Well, not really gold, but... Gold enough for me, sometimes. So let's get it going. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Oops, kind of surprised myself a little bit there. That's right. Ah, piece of candy. All right. Won't go hungry, at the very least. Any sort of sub two would be nice. Any anything sub two to push our average down to two or something like that. Whatever. Uh, excuse me, fella. Oh, you fuck! Oh, he hit me <laughs> with his spear, and I dropped the sign. Come here, you. Uh oh. Uh. Um. Excuse me. All right. <laughs> Thank you. I just need one of you for the tree pull. Thank you very much. Ah, it's a fucking single rope. Single rope tree pull too. So that wasn't even worth it. Ah well. Maybe Uncle will have something in his pockets, something of value for us, please. Ah? Uh, okay, some bombs, some busy bams. That's alright, that's, that's something good to have in his pockets. What was he planning on doing with them, though? Is a real big question. Put a big old 20 in that chest there. But not ideal, certainly. Oh, oh, wait, 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 we want that. Just in case. Just in case. So we got ourselves some cash. Not much. Not much cash, but some. Oh! Power Glove at the church. Oh, wow. All right, then. That is... a something. Well, actually, that gets us to, uh... Gets us immediately to back half the escape, so hey. Why the fuck not? It's like a free three items. Right here. Literally free. Well, not literally free, I guess. You still need a bomb, and you still need a glove to get into it, so whatever. Arrow drop from rat. What do we got here, huh? Eh? More bombs, alright. Arrow cap and a key. Damn it. <laughs> alright, so kinda worthless. Kinda worthless. That's that's alright then. Just make our way over. It's fine. Make our way over to Kakariko now. Check Lost Woods, Mushroom Spot, Thieves Den, Lumberjack Cave, you know. Ye old standard route because I'm boring with my routing. But also I like playing the numbers too, so that's a good chance of value. First, this is the crab got for us. Crab drops, ooh, crab drops bombs. Nice. Alright, we'll take a few of those. Thank you. Worth the 20 second run around for that, I guess. We got on Lumberjack Ledge, nothing but an arrow cap. All right. Well, here's open. Ega one won't be required. Still don't know for sure. Still never for sure on that until we get Dark World access. But it's a good sign that there's nothing of value on the Lumberjack Ledge. I'll tell you what. Damn, that bird is fucking just <laughs> out for blood. What do we got on Mushroom Spot? All right, you know, piece of candy, whatever. Halfway there. Halfway to something better than three three hearts, you know? Thieves Den has a big old 20. All right, let's get some cash. I think with that and then whatever we pull out of uh, Blind's Hut in the well, we'll have enough for Bottle Vendor. So I guess there's some value to it. Even if it's not the value we were looking for. Wow, that dude just fucking missed it. You'd think he'd be able to see that. Bounty Hunter and Power Armor just walking around. You'd think that'd be a noticeable thing.
But all right, blindside here, five item chances. Let's see what RNG sees fit to grace us with this time. Arrow cap, boo. Another arrow cap, boo. He's candy, eh. And the boots, all right. Okay, that's fine and good. And a bomb cap. All right, well the boots alone makes this worth it, really. That is pretty fly. Also, we gotta go fast. So early boots, really nice. Means we can get whatever's in the library. Oops, good bonk, nice. <clears throat> Assuming library has value, who really knows? We can also do bonk rocks right away too. Ten old arrows. Oh, a mirror, nice. Uh, all right. A sword, wow, super early sword, five minutes in. Nothing but cash, but hey, okay. Mirror and sword in the well. That's all right. Bottle vendor has a piece of candy that will get us full, I think. Yeah, all right, whatever. Oopsie. Oopsie. Bonking all over the place here. Okay, chicken throw. Ah, no. We were too high on that. Another piece of candy. Oh, all right. Starting on our next one. No bottle for sick kid, though. Unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Oh, Jesus, early flute. All right. No bootless flutless for us. Let's go take care of some business right away. All rise for our national anthem. Hmm. Well, that gives us some very interesting plays. And some also very quick plays, which I like a lot. So, library race game, and then probably flute on down to dam, mini moldorm, ice rod cave. It's still kind of standard routing, but... Oh, that's right, I got, this. I got a sword already. What am I thinking? <laughs> Let me pick those up like a sucker. Ooh, all right, we'll take that. If it was a piece of candy, we would have ignored it, but a full-on heart container? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We got there, just a piece of candy. All right, oh wait, we got flute, 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 flute. Where are we going? I think we're going down to the dam. Oh, we've got mirror too, so we can do this right quick. Boy, I love being able to check this in just one go. Oh, another sword, holy shit, wow. Master sword at 745 in. That's incredible. That is incredible there. Everybody. Excellent. That's what I like to see. What do we got underwater? Just a big old 20. You know what? I'm gonna grab it. Just in case we're tight on Zora money. I grab that shit. But holy heck. Alright, we're cooking with gas a little bit. Excuse me. Oh wow, good old eight popper drop, I'm gonna grab that. <clears throat> hey, game over, how you doing? Good to see you. What we got in here, a piece of candy, a fire rod? Wow, full on heart container's nice, big old 20, eh. Another full on heart container, wow, what a lovely cave. But I'm most excited about that fire rod. That is superb. Sue fucking poib. Oh, excuse me, birds. Alright, I don't think we'll want a fake flipper just because I don't want to get too far out of left field here. As far as what the. Eh, 
<laughs> oh, no. No, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, crab. I'm trying to end my shit before I get to the ice rod cave. I don't want to get too far out of logic here, just in case something goes really wrong real fast. Another sword. Are you fucking for real with that? Wow. All right. We are beating the shit out of everything here. I kind of love it. <laughs> Woo! All right. Goodness me, tempered sword at nine minutes in. That's that's kind of nuts. Kind of a little nuts. Get ready to flute up to the mountain too, since we can take care of Hera. Actually, what are we dealing with here? Pendant crystal crystal. That's unfortunate. Kind of unfortunate, really. It's the one dungeon we can get to and clear. Excuse me. Is a pendant. That sucks. So maybe we don't go up the mountain yet. Maybe we just kind of wait for it. Arrows. So, alright, so let's keep on trucking. I think we'll do front side escape, Sahash, and maybe Eastern. Before we go up the mountain. Because Hera, not so valuable. Only two items. Only two possible items up there. Well, plus the old man, plus uh, inside and top of Spectacle Rock. So really four items, but well, five, I guess. Um, but we'll leave those for now. <laughs> it's looking like a bang up run. That's right. Here's hoping it keeps this momentum. We got a good thing going. Got a real nice thing going here. But uh, there's certainly no guarantee. Well, there's the burrito. That kind of sucks, because that means the uh, darkroom chest might have something. Excuse me. But we all know how seeds like to tease. RNG likes to give you some good stuff up front and then totally bone you later on without even buying you dinner. So it's like, well, this is nice and all. 320. This is nice and all, but it's not over. It's not over. We got a lot to go. Nice. Good 20 drop. Jesus. These guys are fucking loaded. They just got a bonus or a pay raise or something. A big 3 hundo! Ooh. That is suggesting that we go over to Zora very soon here. Oh, I should also get ready with the mirror since we can just get the fuck out. We don't have to walk it out. Suppose we just S&Q right away. <laughs> Like, silver's in the right side of G-Tower G. I think that happened. <laughs> that happened last week. Except we never got it because we just fucking went on. Alright, what do we got? Ten arrows. Boo. That was kind of dumb. That was kind of a bad deal there. But that's alright. I'm not man enough to try the dark room. I, I, I have to look at some maps first before we do anything like that. So we're gonna hope Sahash plus Eastern will get us some good shit. Total of six possible items. And also, if I learned how to do the spin dash, or the spin speed, whatever, it'd be real nice. Unless uh, Sahash wants to give us a hookshot, that'd be really cool too. My goodness, that would give us some things to do. Ice Rod, Bloomerang, and a big old 20. Ice Rod is nice. Assuming t Rod. oh shit. Go under the green pendant and Ice Palace. All right, well that's good, that's info. That's info, you know? Not worthless. Not worthless right there. <clears throat> so assuming uh, t Rock is required, we have both rods. Both rods with which to do the business, which makes me happy. Don't have to go checking all over Dodge for it. Alright, so that's the hash. We've got the ice rod, we've got the bloomerang. Let's see how friendly Eastern is for us today. And ask my opinion on dungeon idea for the game you said you're making. Alright, cool. Fire away! I'll do my best to answer. In between curses of RNG. Oh, big old 20. Well, we got Zora money. 
I guess that's something. I would really like to find Bow in here. It would be kind of nice so we could just finish this off right away. Oh wait, we gotta go actually around since we don't have the hook shot. One of the dungeons is like crystal caves and shaves like nine floors high and a bit maze-like. Okay. There's the compass. We have, you can see sections you can't quite get to. All right, a little bit of foreshadowing. Neato. Neato burrito. Burrito we have not found yet in this dungeon. All right, I think we've got this, this room figured out. I think. We go up. Oh, grab that one. Yeah, oh, I still fucking got a third one in there. Yes. <clears throat> Oh, the big old key, alright, so we won't be uh, trucking around to get that big key. You get to the ninth floor, you get the dungeon knight and the shovel, alright, okay. Piece of candy for item number dose. Looks like we're gonna have to brave a couple dark rooms here. That's alright. We can do the dark rooms in Eastern are no problem. Easy peasy. Easy, you go down one floor on that square, okay. Try to do this the cool way. I'm actually not quite sure what the cool way entails. Oh, that was ah dang! I thought we could get get through with a dash or something. Damn, that was a fucking fantastic dark room. Tell you what, these had to fall to areas you couldn't reach before. Okay, all right, I'm with you so far. Boo doo doo beam. Ba -da -da -da! The burrito! Alright, well, we're stuck here. Armos has got the last item. <laughs> Alright, uh, we've got Zora money, which is nice. We've still got a few areas that are accessible. Okay, so we've got a heart container over there. We'll, we'll probably mark that one off. I'm not gonna bother grabbing it if we have to. Check Agonist Cave since that's way the fuck out of the way and I don't want to come back here. Decent gimmick? Huh? Decent enough? I mean, even this even this game here, Link to the Past, does a, a fair bit with falling down. And if I recall correctly, I haven't really played the game myself. Ah, oh, just a fiver. What a shit. <clears throat> if I recall correctly, I believe Link Between Worlds does a fair amount of that as well. But the, the idea of changing uh, levels, either going up or down in places that you normally couldn't before, is pretty solid. We'll say that. Alright, how about we fake flipper? <laughs> I know I said I wouldn't fake flipper, but I feel like doing it. Nice, first try. Good setup, first try. We don't. Unfortunately, we don't have the moon pearl, so we can't do the water walk to get the uh, waterfall wishing stuff. Oh, hookshot on Lake Hylia Island. Well, that's good to know that's where it is. I like knowing where cool shit is. Even if I can't get to it. Let's see what the hobo's got. Oh, the hobo's got the shovel. Huh. Incredible. Alright, well. Down one is enough, right? Yeah. The reverse fake flipper. Get the fuck out. I'd actually probably be faster not to do all the swimming. Well, I guess we're already kind of down here. Never mind. So, we may have broken sequence a little bit here by getting the shovel, but no time will tell. We don't have the moon pearl, so we can't water walk. Although there was another way to water walk that I'd like to learn how to do. Excuse me. 
I'll have to look up how to do it. It's something about falling down off a ledge from a certain height into water, and then you... Uh, okay, so nothing but a piece of candy on the ledge. That's good. That's good. That's something about falling down off a ledge at a certain height, and then into water, and... And you can walk on water for some reason. Don't know how it works, don't know how to do it. It's unfortunate, excuse me. Nothing but a piece of candy from good old Zora. What a shit. Oh, that gives us another one, though. Okay, well that doesn't leave us many places to go here. <laughs> so we're gonna check Dig Spot, even though it's out of logic at this point, and then I guess we're headed up the mountain. That's where logic is telling us to go. See if we're gonna break some sequence here. Nope, just a big old 50. You know what? That's oops, yeah, SQ though. That's probably okay. All right, so we did dig spot, did that. Let's break sequence a little bit and get the old man. Oh shit. <laughs> I can never remember where that hole is. Always closer than I imagine. Let's go down a little bit more and then up and around. Grab the old man, go back. And I just go around a little bit. We're good to go there, maybe? Yeah, alright. And old man's got nothing but some money, so no sequence breaking here. I mean, we did a little bit with the whole fake flipper dealio, but didn't get us anything. Except a few locations to check off our list. Oop, careful. Ow. So, that leaves the item in and on top of Spec Rock and whatever's in Hera. Ooh, on top is Half Magiku. I like that. Inside is nothing but a big old 20. So, it looks like Hera will be having the progression for us. And since we've got Tempered already, it means Wormulon will not be a problem. Oh boy, I'm gonna like having half magic. So soon. Especially with Fire Rod, my goodness. That is super cool. Oh my goodness. That is a hammer. That opens up East Side Death Mountain for us. Quite nice. Quite nice to find that here. This'll be either a small or a big key. Small key, so... Ouch. Oh, he was gunning for us real hard there. Alright, so I'd really rather not die here, but at the same time, if I do, it's not that big a deal. I'm gonna try to do this in such a way... Ow, why didn't that trigger that thing? Well, that was kind of silly. So, <laughs> the real big question is, do I go back? I think I go back in for it. Ah, that does take a little bit to trigger, doesn't it? Let's go back in. We didn't lose much time, maybe like 15 seconds or whatever. Because I'd feel quite the fool if the second item in Hera was also progressing. Prog uh, progressive. Progression. Excuse me. That would be quite silly if I then ignored it. So we're not gonna. Uh, let's take a little bit of a little bit of a load off here, a little bit of a drink break.
Oh. Kinda fucked that up a little bit. That's right. The key as expected. These dudes will go down real easy, just one swing tempered. And I think if I do a spin with tempered, I think it's just one spin, one slash on uh, Wormulon here. But we will see. We're going to attempt the bomb jump. I'm usually not very good at this one. And if I fuck it up... Actually, you know what? We're going to be a little bit safer about this. At least if I fuck this one up, I'm not going to fall twice. I think... Ah, shit. Yeah, alright. <laughs> alright, so at least I didn't fall twice there. That was, that was good thinking on my part. <laughs> Real good thinking. So I do have the boots to get back if I need to. I'm gonna try it one more time. Oh, that was probably enough right there. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, one more. More pixel. Uh. Ah, dang it. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Wasting time. Wasting time trying to do shit I'm not very good at. We'll try it one more time, <laughs> I think. There's only one way I'm gonna get good at it, is to practice. There we go. I think that'll do it. Yes! Oh, it's for the burrito, and then I fall anyways. <laughs> Dang it, so Wormulon had the item all along. That's all right. That's all right. We, we, we did it, we did the bomb jump. We succeeded on the third try. for that to go away. Nope, that, that was too... Oh, shit, son of a bitch. I was low enough on that one. All right, whatever, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's miscalculate this one, too. Right there should do it. There we go. See, couldn't have done that the first try. See if this whole climb is worth it. It's just spin and slash, right? Oh, fuck off, Wormulon. There we go. See what you got. Uh, all for a big old 20. Do I even need to get the, the pendant? I think I can just leave, right? Oh, no, they make me get it. Dang it. <laughs> just trying to mirror out. Alright, well, that's unfortunate, but okay. Go check out East Side Death Mountain. There's got to be progression over there since we didn't uh, get enough for progression anywhere else. Our container up on the island. So, not something worth going for explicitly. But, good to know. Good to get that item location crossed off. Oh man, Spiral Cave with boots is so much, <laughs> so much better than without. My goodness. Oh, put a piece of candy there, so we're down to Paradox Cave then. Oh, coming. Gives us seven items, so at least one of these is going to be something. At least one. I would prefer more than one somethings. 
Perhaps a bow. A bow, a titan's mitt. Hey, there we go. <laughs> All right, well, that means we can do dark side death mountain too. Rad as fuck. Oh, wait, no, we can't. We don't have moon pearl yet. Don't have moon pearl yet. So, hint, hint, rest of paradox game. If you want to give us moon pearl, that'd be real nice. Eh? Mushroom? Eh? This candy, okay. This the bams. Ah, there we go. There's the good old Moon Pearl and the Bug Net. Holy shit. Talk about the value. Lots and lots of value going on here. Alright, so what do we got? Moon Pearl, we got Bug Net. Mitts I already marked off. I feel like there was something else that I forgot. That's right. Excellent. Fucking excellent. Any items in all Zelda games you feel are underutilized for how good they were? Uh, well, see, that's kind of the rub, right? If they were that good, they would probably be used a lot more. Right? But if you're talking, like, items that were perhaps not used to get places or for actual, like, non-normal combat use or whatever, I have to think about that for a little second, quick second here. Oh, we could actually go get Hookshot now, since we have Dark World access. We could finish Hookshot Cave while we're up here. Eh, well. We can get the, get the bottom one, and check out what T-Rock requires. And check out what other crystals we got. Alright, if this dude... Yeah, of course he's gonna fucking just get right up with my business. Fifty rooms. All right. Well. Well. There's that. All right. T Rock. T Rock. What do you got there? Quakerino. Quakerino on T Rock. Now, what can we do? We can do just about everything. We can get just about everywhere in uh, Dark World now, which is really nice. I forgot to check uh, crystals and shit. Oh well, we'll do that now. As if we can go like super sweep through just about everything. Real nice. Alright, let's see what we got. Crystal, 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 we've got pod and ice. Oh, ice we kind of already knew. Uh, excuse me, swamp was the other. We've got crystal, crystal, five sixer at uh, crystal, and other five sixer up at T Rock. You know that's good. That's that's a real good crystal placement there. Skull Woods and Thieves Town being crystals like straight away is super great. Get two real quick ones. Since we've got Fire Rod with fucking half magic, Mothula will be pretty simple. <clears throat> on top, on top of, ouch, having tempered. <laughs> ah, nothing but a burrito, boo. Um, assuming I don't die, of course. Oh, oh, the mushroom was the other thing that we got that I forgot about. Yes, there we go. Ow, fucking really. Zappy zaps. Compass, alright, so literally nothing of value in this first section. Alright, I gotta remember to watch out for this jumping bitch. Died twice. Died twice last week for that fuck. I think. Son of a bitch, are you serious? Uh, so I didn't, <laughs> I didn't die on the one I was worried about. I died on the other one. All right, uh, let's see. where we go. <clears throat> Ain't Apache from Minus Cat. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. It didn't have a whole lot of use, did it? It was very, 
very, very narrowly situation for that. I mean, you could use it to flip over some enemies that you need to do, right? You can use it to jump out of holes to get up to ledges and shit like that. But I don't think there's really much else that you could do. I think you could flip over rocks that had spikes on them or whatever and turn them into platforms. I guess that was the other kind of situational use for it. Other than that, I think it was kind of useless. these guys. God damn it. Fucking... <laughs> oh good, all that for a key, thanks. Thanks fucko. So, that means one of the items is either going to be... Well, it's got kind of got to have to be in the big chest now, doesn't it? I'm just going to take my time around these guys. I do not need to take another dumb death. So I'm trying to remember if the rando logic lets the big key be in the big chest for Skull Woods, because you technically don't need it to beat the level, to beat the dungeon. Damn it. Well, never mind. Doesn't matter. So Lothula and the big chest will have some for us. Three hearts from Mothula isn't the greatest, but it should be doable if I'm not a big dumb idiot. Let's see what we can do here. As long as I don't, I think, hit Mothula straight on. God damn it. Like, I can't tell if any of these, there we go, <laughs> if any of these are actually landing and doing damage. Because that seemed like a lot of them. What a bomb cap. Bomb cap and crystal number one, I suppose. Meh, okay. Pick up the big chest on the way through and then bust a move on down the Thieves' Town and claim crystal number dopes. Uh, That still wasn't enough? Alright, eh? eh. so not worth going back for, but hey, 
At least it's full cleared. We don't have to worry about it. Oh, but we can get uh, King's Tomb and Cave North of Graveyard taken care of, too. Check what we got there. And the big old 20 up at Bumper Cave. I don't have bottles. I've got the fucking bug net. <clears throat> but nothing to shove shit into. Probably just be faster to do this straight away instead of running back in Dark World. That way we can deposit the mushroom. Get that out of the way too. Oh shit! The silvers! Okay. Excellent. No silverless this time. <laughs> Thank you. Gosh dang, last week it was two silverless. Two silverless seeds, which sucked so hard. Dang, I am happy to see them silvers. Them silvers are now ours. So, now we just need a bow in order to use them. Eh, over here. Okie dokie. Let's take care of Thieves Town, get our second crystal, and then we'll probably bust a move on down to Desert. Check out Mire. Let's see what we need to get into there. We got lots of stuff to do. Lots of things. Lots of things. Pop over to uh, the Kylie Island and get the get that hook shot. <clears throat> After we go check out Hype Cave. Rupees. All right. Well, we're set for rupees. We really don't need any more of those. Please. Uh, the bow. All right. Now we're cooking. Ho <laughs> ho. Excellent. Pretty much the last thing we really, really want. Well, I guess one of the last things we really, really want is a lamp. A lamp in some Mario would be real nice. Our container is also good, but not as nice. Takes care of the entirety of Village of Outcasts. The bow. Oh, oh the bow makes me happy. If we can grab the lamp, we can do the whole flippers. All right. We can do the whole back-to-back -back pod and Eastern play. I like that play. That's a real good play. Ouch. Oh wait, I forgot to mark one of these. I don't want to lose count. I'm apt to lose count everywhere. Uh, did we get one or two items in here? I feel like, like we must have gotten two. I forgot to count one of them. Let's 
Oh, right, it was flippers and a hard container, right? God damn it. Get out of my way! I'm trying to find the god pixel. There we go. Yoink! Ah. Oh. A bottle would also not go amiss at this point. Because <clears throat> even though I'm pretty comfortable with the amount of health we got here, I wouldn't mind having uh, some means of having a little backup. Knowing my luck, it's going to be blind with a small key that gets us to the big chest. That would just be the thing to happen. Since we are in a position to get out of here without having to double dip. That's a good song. Big old fucking 20, which means blind has the key. God damn it. Ugh. The question becomes, do we go back in for it, or do we just play the numbers and hope that it's nothing good. I guess we'll, we'll have to go back in for it. I'm not leaving this one behind. It's burned me before. Leak Knight is a tiny noble man. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I like that one. Ugh. Blind, please. Ugh. All right, well, we're not guaranteed to win this. So there's a lot of bullshit going on. A lot of shit flying about, like these fuckos. And the lasers, oh man. Don't forget about the lasers, excuse me. No! Ah! I knew some garbage like that would happen. Fucking shit. Well, we're not leaving that fly, so whatever. it doesn't take too much time to get back there. It's just annoying, is what it is. You. What? He was dead. That was the last fucking strike on him. Why didn't all of them die? God bless America. That was dumb. I do not agree with that one at all. That was the last hit on the last phase. Why didn't his fucking heads disappear right away? But no, instead I cascade back into the last one and fucking eat it. Great. Awesome. Love when that happens. <laughs> Should be an easy fight. The fucking easiest, most scripted ass fight. I'm eating it. Damn it. Ugh.
Can we not do this again, please? Thank you. Oh. Oh. All for 50 rupees. Thanks, blind. Oh, wait. Oh, the small key must be in the chest. All right, well, at least we're not triple dipping. That's nice. Oh, okay. That's fine. No, that's fine. That's, that's an okay result. Okay, so we have got a number of things to do now. One, the digging game. Two, the blacksmith. Three, the purple chest. Four, peg cave. Uh, we can't do Batman yet because we don't have powder. Uh, but then we can swing by and grab the hook shot off of Lake Hylia Island, get to Hype Cave. Ah, it's just a big old 20. At least it was a quick one. I think we can go into Hype Cave with the purple chest, right? I mean, I can just leave it outside. <coughs> and then everything's fine. Can I swim with it, though? I'm not even sure. I'm not sure if I can swim with the purple chest. I guess we'll try. We'll give it a go since we'll be kind of in that area. is a fair reward for hammering a bunch of shit into the ground. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. Ah, big old 20 from the breadsmiths. Cheapskates. Well, we are certainly on our way to butter. We had tempered by nine minutes in. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> We've already got silver, so no silverless fight today. At least not for this one. Butter would not be bad. Although I am perfectly okay with tempered. Especially the super early tempered that we managed to get. Oh, the book! We've got some literacy, which is actually very well timed. We can check Bombos while we're doing our whole run around here. Um, excuse me. So ma actually, maybe we'll turn in uh, Purple Chest before we go Hype Cave. For the simple fact that I want to bust a move on over to uh, Lake Hylia Island and grab the hook shot. And I'm not sure that we can swim with this or not. Oh, there's a little Quakerino. All right. Well, that gets us into T-Rock. I'm supposed to figure out how to go to the parallel world thing to find the cave. There's actually quite a few visual cues in the uh, dark world where you should mirror out. To tell you where you should mirror out. Really solid design, honestly. Alright, so we just got bombs there. Checkerboard cave I haven't checked. Lunchbox we did. Alright, Hype Cave and Lake Hylia Island, I think. Did I not mark flippers? There we go. Okay, we gotta go back. So, like, for right here, it's got this line of pegs, right? That roughly follows the outline of the ledge that I just mirrored onto and back from. 
And then the one before, the for the cave south of the grove, which was a couple minutes ago, um, there was that ring of bushes that kind of tells you that there's something there. I mean, it's always suspicious when you see us, uh, like an unnatural circle of things, right? Oh wait, hype cave. Hype cave first. Erp. It's like, wait a minute, wasn't there something else I was gonna do? Same goes for graveyard ledge. Um, I'm about to get hit in the back of the head with a spear, aren't I? Yeah, thanks. Let's see, what else can you do? Graveyard ledge. Uh, that might be it, actually. It's candy. What about Samaria? The Archimedes fine. Samaria? No, big 20. Samaria? Uh, Samaria? Dang it! Oh, my bombs. <laughs> All right, hype cave was kind of shitty. I could have skipped it and not really felt bad. Oh, uh, Lake Hylia Island, yes, is a, is another one. So here, I'll, I'll kind of slow down and show you before we go right to it. I mean, besides the fact for this one, it's pretty easy to see that there's something up there. But here in Dark World, it's got this ring of uh, rocks around it. And it's got the little kind of highlight where the island is. There's our nice hook shot. Flip flop. Unlocks pretty much everything else. So before we do our rounds here, let's check to see about fire. See what fire requires to get in, and like here, you can you can mirror here to get to uh, desert ledge. There's that little indent, probably less clear to see. There's this little indent over here. Oh man, okay, so there's a lot more than I was remembering. There's this little indent here to get up to this rock for checkerboard cave. Nothing but a piece of candy that we don't really give two shits about. So, I mean, some of these are less required than others, honestly. Like, I think in the vanilla game, all these caves don't really have anything of value, so... Well, nothing of, of game progressive value anyways. Ooh, ether, nice. Okay. Uh, did we, we haven't checked what Meyer actually was, did we? It's Quake! Quake Arena for both of them! Okay. That is A-O fucking K by me. So I think there was a heart container down here? Yeah, we'll grab it. I mean, you can skip. In vanilla, obviously, you can't skip uh, using the book to get into the desert here, but in rando, it saves you a bit of time. Plus, it gives you a nice mirror out spot. You're done checking everything. Oh, small key on the torch. Looks like black magic. Well, I mean, it, it is in a sense. Like, I spent a lot of time playing this when I was a babby. A wee babby. Oh, there's our lamp. Excellent. All right. That opens up the pod Eastern back-to-back -back double play. That's fucking rad. But yeah, you play this long enough, you start to get a sense for some things. And I'll admit, like, I had no clue about a lot of these, like, little tiny tricks until I started, uh, until I started playing Rando. Simply for the matter that you need to know about some of these things to make it work. Or at the very least, you need to know about it to make it work fast. So now, this would be really rad. If we could get Samaria as the last item in desert, we could do the desert some uh, desert fire back-to-back -back double play. Should be super cool. Be super cool and fun, please, RNG. Hear my plea. But yeah, certainly, if you were going through this the first time on vanilla, ah, uh, burrito, of course, it would be uh, uh, very obtuse, as you put it. Very obtuse. 
I mean, this was back in the day where they could give you a few visual cues and shit, but it certainly wasn't obvious. got fire rod so let's see should i do silvers for landmo or fire rod for landmo do you think i'm thinking silvers just because i need practice on my aim and it always feels good to nail a fucking bullseye shot Silvers ago. Weep, 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 weep. No, no, ow, oh, I fucked up this fucking one cycle. Oh, that would have been so super rad. <laughs> damn. Oh, damn. Wait, did I get both items and I didn't mark them? That would have been the last chance. Oh well, well, crystal three. All right, I'm feeling the pod Eastern back-to-back -back double play as being the thing to do. Dang it, I'm so, I'm kind of mad that I missed that last shot. Oh man, <laughs> that would've made me feel super good. That would've made me feel super good, but oh well. Better luck next time. Better luck on Landmo 2. Perhaps. Oh, jeez, this bird wants some. Go fuck off. Oh, wow, he is really gunning. Running and gunning for me. Alright, he's gone. So this will be a nice back-to-back -back double play for two more crystals, I think, right? Yep. So that'll be real nice. Uh, and then we've got Meyer and T Rock then left. We need Samaria for both, and then I think we'll be in go mode. So if we get Samaria at any time here, we are set to go and just blaze a fucking trail right to the end. Make this shit lit as fuck. played Earthbound? Yes, I have. I've never played it all the way through myself. I've seen many runs of it all the way through. Um, but I do, I very much enjoy that game. That's a very solid game. It's weird. It's really strange, but it's really solid. God run. Boo. Oh, there's some butter. A big old fat stick of butter. There's a small key. I forgot to mark my mail upgrade, too. Let's see. Not what I'm looking for. 
Looking for that good old red cane. Really put us over the top here. Yeah, they had certainly a lot of weird status effects in that game. They they very much played it up towards, you know, typical modern not weird fantasy crap. Which I mean is amazing in its own right. Like, there's homesick, stuffy nose, a cold. Then there was weird status effects too, but I think the like the typical ones were pretty funny. Homesick, yeah, as you mentioned. Oh, I don't have the big key, do I? Son of a bitch. That was dumb. I always forget that. Like, I just keep on trucking along, thinking I've got everything I need. Then I duff it up. Ah, well, it's fine. Maybe we'll get lucky and the other two items will be over there? Along with the big key, so I don't have to worry about getting it, because I think we're just missing the compass. Yeah. Now yeah, there's the big key. Dang it, we're going over here first. And I think I'm missing two small keys as well. Yeah, there's powder. There's one of them. Small key. Uh, all right. Over under on. Uh, last item being down here. I guess either way I'm going to have to get it. So let's check the big chest first. Because I have a feeling that uh, if I go down into that other locked room that chest will just have another small key. I really only need the one. Oops. I do All right, take two on this big old chest. Please be the other end. Ah, it's the red meringue. So, not really valuable. But it is the last item, so we can get the fuck out of here. Excuse me. Kind of surprised that we haven't found a shield yet. But hey, whatever. I really need a shield. A shield is for little baby cowards. Oh, come on. Nail that shot. Yeah, William Tell. First try. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, localization on Earthbound was solid. Everybody did a great job on it. Everybody. Everybody, everybody. Maybe I should go back and play it again. That would be something. Now, you want obtuse stuff in, in games. Earthbound certainly had its fill. Alright, so I finally figured out the right count. It's one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight second chunk there. No, nine second chunk? Ten. Ouch, oh, jeez. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, I think. 16, 17, I think, does it, right? Nice. Eat shit, Helmasaur. <laughs> All right, that'll be the compass, right? And that'll be crystal number four for us. Boom. All right, so even with this back-to-back -back double play, we're probably not gonna be ahead on the good old times here. What's kind of unfortunate for us is that as long as Samaria remains out of reach, we are looking at a bad time because Swamp is a pendant and has six items. Ice is a pendant and has three items. Oops, I actually need to go into Eastern, please. Thank you. <laughs> Well, plus a fourth item, I guess, if you count the green pendant you get from it. So there's ten items. Ten possible places for Samaria to be in just the pendant dungeons alone. Which is shitty. But hey, what do you expect? What do you expect from RNG being kind enough to give us tempered before ten minutes in? Silvers and Butter Sword. What would be the best for us now is if Armos. Ah, oh, fuck, I fucked it up. Oh, I fucked it up really hard. Huh. Well, I guess I'll just do that. <laughs> what would be best for us is if Armos Knights had, uh, had uh, Samaria for us. That would be the best. Hint, hint, RNG, if you want to make us happy, that is the way to do it. I know another game to ask what your favorite food was. Yeah. Yeah, Earthbound was weird. Earthbound was definitely weird. <laughs> Making chicken chalupas. <laughs> Uh, would it have had? I don't. I don't know if it would have enough space to put that in. Although Earthbound did have some inputs that had a lot of, a lot of room for you to be creative. So I wouldn't be surprised if you could fit that entire thing in. To be honest with you. Can fire, please. Thank you. Eat shit, Armless Knights. Dang, all for an arrow cap, though. Ah, uh, alright, well. Now what? Now what's the play? We can't even get into T-Rocks, so that keeps us away from that. Swamp is probably the densest at this point. Shit, I'm going into the swamp. This is this is bad news simply because swamp takes a long time to clear. Oh, I forgot to mark our crystal time on that. There we go. So we're just looking for Samaria, really. Once we get Samaria, we are piecing the fuck out of everything else. Then it's up to uh, into Mire, and then up to T Rock, and then G Tower, and fighting the big bad pig himself. gonna regret going in the swamp. Honestly. The good news is we've got tons of gear that if we do need to fight Argus, we will make that quick and simple. Oh wait, I need a bombs first. Bombs for first item. Like, first item Samario would be fucking fantastic. 
Come on, Swamp. You know, you want to give that to us. Eh? Eh? Ah. <laughs> well, first item big key isn't bad either, I guess. Not chasing around and doing double dips for that shit. Oh, well, there's our first bottle. <laughs> first bottle, buck 15 in. That uh, finally opens up Sick Kid. doubt this is going to be a PB, but assuming Samaria isn't a giant pain in the butt, we should be able to make this a pretty comfortable sub two. <laughs> Dad, oh boy. <laughs> um, I, I haven't played, I don't think I've played any of the God of War games. I mean, but God of War 4 looks nice, I guess? Looks good? <laughs> I couldn't really speak intelligently or in any sort of educated fashion on whether or not it's a good game. I don't know if I'm exactly one to speak on it. But I've heard good things about it, so I guess that's something, right? Dadavoy. <laughs> I like that. I've heard the more common one, Dadavor. I've never heard Dadavoy, though. That's really good. I like that. I mean, it's 100% it's technically correct. The best kind of correct to be. Calling it that. Oh, fire bar. Oof. Did I remember to swap that switch back? I hope I, hope I did. Ass. I didn't! Son of a bitch! Oh, I forgot something. Crap. Uh, son of bitch. I forgot something very important. <laughs> that was dumb. That was dumb and silly. Right there. Still, I'm gonna go back for that other item just because if I don't, it's probably Samaria. <laughs> but now that I am going back for it, it's probably like a big 20 or something. Very great mix of Dark Souls, Zelda, and The Last of Us, and maybe a few other things. Huh, all right. Definitely get a good feel for what it is based on that mix of games there. I got four chances at Samaria here in Swamp. Please let one of these be it. Piece of candy. Shit. Well, luckily that only wasted a minute for getting to hit the switch. Ouch. 
It's just Minesweeper. <laughs> all right, all right. I know enough about God of War to know Minesweeper has no fucking cause being in there. Come on. Give me a little credit. It's striking resemblance to Magic the Gathering. Come on! That's not true either. <laughs> A bunch of liars in chat today. Come on. Oops, that's the one. This one right here. Alright, two chances left. Oh! Samaria! Go mode, bitches! Sorry, I just called you bitches just then. I got excited. Fucking excellent. We are done and gone. Oh man, so we can go mode both Meyer and T-Rock. Aha. Uh -huh. Feels good, man. Feels good, man. Excuse me. Birds, out the way, please. Oh, except I don't have a cape or cane of Brian, so I should probably pick up like a backup potion or something. Pick up a backup potion because laser bridge at T-Rock can be a little bit painful. It's <laughs> like you have to chicken chili. I still don't know what the fuck that is. I think Tormod was talking about it last time, but I, I, I forget the description he used, ouch. Alright, we just need a big key here. Now, knowing my luck, Big Key will be in the last chest we check here. Taco Bell Special of the Month. Okay. <laughs> I get you. I get you. You know what? I'm sure it's good. It sounds amazing, but I just can't be excited about anything from Taco Bell. It's just not my thing. Hey, look at that! That's a quick-ass big key, if ever I've seen one. Hell yeah. Perfect. Tuba, but instead of a soft ready tortilla, it's a chicken... Chicken uh, patty fried in a taco shell shape. Okay, I get you. I mean, it sounds good, but again, the Taco Bell aspect of it does not sell me on it. Oh, oh, I can try something cool here. I'm gonna try something cool here, if I remember how to do it. Uh, I think we need Fire Rod. Do that, I think. Do that, do that, I think. No? Is it not? Oh, maybe it's in the far one. No? Huh. No, alright, I fucked it up. It's fine. There's supposedly some glitch you can do where you can hit the switch with the fire rod there. But, uh, I fucked it up somehow. Which isn't a big shock. Oh, whoopsie. I didn't even need to hit it. Oh, man, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Fired on all cylinders tonight. Forgetting to hit switches all over the place.
There's a way you can do that fire rod glitch with this as well, but again. Not on not on point with the glitches tonight. But that's I. That's I. It doesn't matter, because we're gonna mess fucking Vitreus's shit up with some silvers straight in the eyeball. So bonk over that fire bar there, but I fucked it up. Oh man, this is so satisfying. <laughs> Just eat it, Vitreus. Eat it, Vitreus. <laughs> Excellent. There's crystal number six. Alright, so before we head up to T-Rock, though, I'm gonna swing by and pick up a potion. In the hopes that I don't need to actually use it at T-Rock, because I'd like to save it as backup for Ganon, but... Now I'm pretty safe in saying that this will be a comfortable sub, too. That makes me very happy. Uh, squirrels, please. Get out my way. Ugh. <laughs> Trying to support his eyeball man, kids. Well, that's why I kind of made the kids a non-issue. You know, just in case. You take away the kids, you take away the need to support the kids, and then uh, it's, everything, everything's all good, you know? Oh, I suppose I could have gotten a fairy back up there, too. Eh. Well, no, I've only got the one bottle. Never mind. I don't like this drink that much, but I'm gonna power through it and finish it anyways, so you don't waste alcohol. Go Moti Rock makes me feel good. Oh boy. Fun, funny stuff, man. Funny stuff. Uh, tonight, right, well, right now, I guess, I've got pink lemonade, or excuse me, raspberry lemonade and vodka. Which, you know, sounds okay, but it's just not. It's not great. It's not great. I think it's more the raspberry lemonade part than the vodka part that's not great. I mean, I know that's the case. Am I saying might? The Shaw. Come on, big key. Big key. Oh, well, there's the arrow of destiny. This run is valid. Ouch. A big key, though, which makes me... Makes me a little sad.
Hey, big key. Big key. We still need two small keys, though, so we're not out of this yet. But that gets the big sucker out of the way. Ouchies. Makes me very happy again. Again, very happy, very pleased. I mean, it's an okay drink. It's not the best I've ever had or made. Which makes me sad a little bit, but... You know, there's always brighter days at the beginning of the next drink. <laughs> always brighter days. I'm going to take a little bit of a risk. Now, cheese. All right, thank you for all of those hits, I guess. I'm going to take a bit of a risk and not go for the center chest. So I've got the single key to get me through there. I'm going to bank on Laser Bridge having at least one other small key for me. Wait, I think I can dash this one again. Yeah, hell yeah. All right. Hey, and there's the other small key. We don't even have to fucking deal with Laser Bridge now. That's fucking phenomenal. Oh, oh. excellent. Excellent. Well, this will be one heck of a Trinex fight with butter. That big old stick of butter. I think it's three. Three or four swipes. Maybe maybe just three, actually. I'm gonna try it at three. Come on, you fuck! Let's go! One, two, three. I'm gonna swap to. Yes, nice. Oh, what a beautiful first phase. Is it gonna do enough not to. Oh, no. I'm gonna get one little. Excellent, though. There we go. Fuck you, Trinex. Eat a shit. Recover a little bit of time on that, too. That was an excellent T Rock Go mode. Ah, oh, for a five urgy, thanks. A bit of money for killing your ass. There's Crystal 7. We on to G Tower, baby! No way in hell we're clearing it in four and a half minutes, so this won't be a PB, but again, a comfortable sub 2. Makes me very happy. Alright, place your bets 1 through 22. Where are we finding that G Tower big key? Let's go around. Where are we gonna find it? Personally, I'm hoping for number 1. But hey, that's just me. I'm just running the thing. <laughs> hey, Ronkley, how you doing? Good to see you. Guess of 11. All right. You know what? 11's, 11's okay. It's in the it's in the first half. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's real good. Five. Ooh. Five would be great. Five would be phenomenal. Five would be literally good. And one would be literally the best. But, uh... You know, with the way RNG has been going tonight, it's been a little hot and cold. More hot than cold. So here's its chance to be fucking ice to us here. There's one. There's two. Both big old 20s. Not a great start. Not a fantastic start. Here comes number three on the torch. Small key. We'll take it.
Make sure we got keys for days here. Here's four through seven. Four, small key, five, another small key. Again, keys for days. Six, piece of candy, which is nice. Another heart container, I guess. Number seven, 300 roofs. Jeez. Well, not the best. Certainly not the best. That's all right. Here comes number eight. All right? Number eight. Number eight. Oh. <laughs> Hey, you're red mail. Okay, yeah, that's that's okay to see. Oops, that is an okay thing to see right there. Ah, there we go. Trying to do some some fancy uh, fancy. Oh goddamn it! I fucked it up. All right, enough of the fancy strands. Let's just do it the. Do it the convenient and easy way. Oops. Perfectly the way that's not wasting so much time. Alright, so what are we through? We're through eight, right? So eleven is still in play. Ouch. Spikes, really? Here's nine. Our container. Oh, sand card for the refill. Nice. And here comes ten through thirteen. Last chance for first half here. Then we hit in right side. Or no, then we're hitting Armos. And then we're hitting right side. Please, RNG. Bless RNG. Don't be mean. Ten. Eleven. Oh, blue goo is nice. 12, 13, dang it, shit, dang it, fuck, dang. At least we got baby's first shield. This would be real unfortunate if this turned into a right side adventure. So... Our last Lord and Savior here, Bob's Chest, is coming up real quick. That will be number 14. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Dang it. Peace for days. Peace for days. Nice. All right, that works. Well, here's 15 through 17. 15? Ah, 15. That's okay, I guess. It's not great, but at least it's not right side. In fact, I think that was vanilla big key. What is this? I thought this was rando. What the fuck? <laughs> CG wins. <laughs> I suppose he does, doesn't he? There is good old 15 for him. If he can't get the 15 in Cactus, he'll get the 15 in Zelda. Oh, well, I gotta decide on a direction here. Dang it. There we go. Ah. No, stop. <laughs> Alright, so we're looking pretty good. We got half magic, we got lots of hearts. Silvers, butter. Two blue potions in reserve. Things are looking AO fucking K for us today. Ah, 
come on, Skeleton, you know you want to eat it. Yeah, snipe! Oh, I'm surprised that we didn't get that guy down. That one. Excuse me, Beemos, please. Ouch. Ouch. Wow, what the fucking cross cord for us. Right away. Alright, just to be safe. Huh? So I'm a master of forgetting to actually pop my potions before I need them. Ah, no, we're not gonna. Not gonna oh, that was a weird fucking. Weird. Oh, wow, see, look at that. That was weird. People saw that, right? It was like chunks of. Chunks of landmo there. There we go. Let's do this the safe way. <laughs> why am I why am I trying to be fancy with the fucking silvers? Let's do it right. There's a lot of balls. Indeed, a lot of balls. Excuse me. Pardon me. Ow, oh, I was just a little touch off there. That would have been super cool if I had actually made it. Excuse me, pardon me. jerkiness we can face here is Jerk Wizard the second. As his name implies, why do I always do that? Like, I always manage to get it on that little crotch of the fucking wall where it doesn't hit the gosh dang... Yeah, fucking whatever, it doesn't matter. That's fine. We're fine. Excuse me. All right, and Wormulon the second shall pose no threat to us today. What with the butter and all. Validation chest has some busy bangs. Not useful, not that useful, but hey, there's not really a whole lot else we could get that would be useful to us now. Wizard, what you got for us today? That's, that's an okay. Ah, I think that counted for two, so we're good. We're good. Ah, you bastard blue ball son of a bitch. There's another double, alright. Yeah, eat shit. That was, that was okay. It's a four cycle. The triple double. <laughs> the triple double. Good old triple double. I think we'll have enough resources to just take this head on. Let's do it. Let's go straight in. Be swinging our butter around. Put the pig in its place here. He <laughs> really slapped him with his own balls. Wow, lewd! But I'll allow it. Oh. Yeah, finally, the delicious whole game records created your incredible insights. Oh. Thanks, Ganon. Oh. That Weedabix ad. Oh. Preach. Much preach. Oh. 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 Alright, I think that's enough for phase three, probably. <laughs> Just to make sure. We'll, we'll give it another couple goes. Whoop, pardon. Yeah. Oh, well. Ah, you bastard. Oh, you coward. There we go. Uh, 
Yes, I did find the arrows in the light world. They were in King's Tomb. You little shit. Uh, I'm not gonna get torch glitch though, am I? Nope. That's okay. Yeah, I missed him. Wow, he's all the way up over there. What a shit. Oh, is that gonna be a good old double? Ah, dang. Ugh. Oh, come on, that didn't hit him. Boo. Oh. I think I can double on the vertical there. Alright. Just to be safe about this, I don't think I'd have. Oh, eh. That should be number four. Okay. Eat shit. Get on. Looking at a buck 46. A low buck 46. I can... I can deal with that. Tell you what. That was a very pleasant seed. I enjoy. I enjoy very much. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Alright. Well, we'll let the credits roll. I'm gonna go get topped off after I slam the rest of this shitty drink. And then we'll start up Seed number dose. I'll be back in a minute.
All right, got back in just in time to see what was that MSP. Just a touch of money there. Just a little touch of the money. All right, prepare to fast forward. I want to see some stats here. Oh, oh, that's better. That's much better. Mm. Mm. Good shit. Good shit. All right, so first seed was real nice. Buck 46 fitting. Real good, solid, comfortable sub two. Mm. Really good, real good. So now I'm afraid now. I'm afraid that the second seed is going to try to counterbalance that with like a 220 or a 230 or something like that. That would be really shitty. But hey, you never know until you play it. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we got. We'll see what we got after we see the stats. Our first sword was at like seven minutes and then we got tempered by nine minutes, I want to say. <laughs> which, is, which is crazy nuts bananas, but that's okay. That's crazy nuts bananas in our favor. What do we got? What, what's what's the important stuff here? <clears throat> First sword at oh, five minutes even. Yeah, boots were super early. Flute was early. Mirror was early. All super good. And then we didn't do anything with the plastic sword, really. We got tempered super early. GT Big Key was 15. Eh. Four deaths, uh, all four of which shouldn't have happened. But hey, that's what, that's what happens sometimes. Only Midland collection rate. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. 